Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So Apple has finally released its new macOS, which is macOS Tahoe. So in this video, I will share a complete guide on how you can create a bootable macOS Tahoe USB drive. And then we will be dual booting our current macOS Sequoia with macOS Tahoe. So this tutorial is great if you love testing the new macOS updates. And side by side, you want to keep your old macOS version for your daily use. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the things that we will need. So we will need an external hard drive to store our backup of the current version of macOS. I highly recommend creating a backup for the worst case scenarios. Then, we will need a 32 gigs of USB storage for creating a bootable installation media for our new macOS Tahoe. A Mac, be it Apple Silicon or Intel. Just make sure that your device supports the latest macOS 26. And you can see the list of the supported hardware on your screen. Lastly, we will need the latest macOS Tahoe installer file. I will provide all the links required in the video description below. So let's proceed. First, I will start by creating a backup of my current version of macOS. Just insert your external hard drive into the USB port. Now click on system settings and search for time machine. You can just click on the plus sign and start creating your backup. As I have already created my backup, so I will skip this process. Once the backup is created, safely eject your hard drive. Now, we will download the macOS Tahoe installer file. So open any browser and go to this URL. I will provide all these video links in the description below. Just click on install assistant.pkg file and save the file to your desktop. As I have already downloaded this file, so I will skip this process. Now, we will start by creating the bootable installation media for our macOS Tahoe. Simply insert your pen drive. Once your pen drive is detected, double click on install assistant.pkg file and install the macOS Tahoe package on your Mac. Just follow the on screen instructions. Once done, click on Finder and you will now see the Install macOS Beta application. Right click on this application file and click Show Package Contents. Now go to the Contents folder, then open the Resources folder. So here you will see the Create Install Media file. Next, open Terminal from your Launchpad. Now type sudo space and then drag and drop the create install media file into your terminal. Again, type hyphen hyphen volume and a space. Then drag and drop the USB drive. You can match the exact syntax as shown in the video. Once done, press enter. Now type in your password and then type Y and press enter. So this will now create your bootable installation media for macOS Tahoe. So this process will take some time depending upon the speed of your USB stick. Once done, you will see install media now available. Just close your terminal and verify if your bootable media is ready. Just double click on install macOS beta and you will see the macOS beta installer file. There are several other hidden system bootable files as well. You can see the hidden files by pressing Ctrl Shift with the dot. Once checked and verified, it's time to create a separate volume for your macOS Tahoe. To do that, click on Launchpad and search Disk Utility. Expand your internal hard drive by clicking on the downward arrow. Now click on the plus sign besides volume and set a name for your new volume. I will keep it macOS Tahoe. Once done, click on Add. So we will use this volume to install our new macOS Tahoe for testing, whereas our old volume will still retain our current macOS version untouched. Once everything is ready, it's time to restart your Mac. Now to clean install macOS Tahoe, we will need to get into the boot menu. For this, you need to press and hold the power button. If you're using an Intel Mac, you need to press and hold the Options key. Once you see this, Loading Startup Options, you can release the key. 
Here, you need to click on Install macOS Beta to proceed with the installation of macOS Tahoe. Since we currently have the beta version, you will see Install macOS Beta. Once the public version is released, you will see Install macOS Tahoe. Just click on it and wait for the installation page. Click on Continue and then agree to the terms and conditions. Here, select your volume that we have created previously, that is macOS Tahoe and click on Continue. Now, select your user account that you wish to set as an admin of this volume and then click on the Install button. Click on Continue and then type in your user account password twice. Now this will take some time and install macOS Tahoe on your second volume. For me, it took around 24 minutes for the complete installation. After this, your Mac will restart several times, which will additionally take around 4 minutes. So once the installation is complete, you will see the post-installation steps. You can follow the on-screen instructions and finalize setting up your macOS Tahoe. You will now see that the welcome screen of macOS Tahoe. So congratulations, you have successfully installed macOS Tahoe on a separate partition. You can now try and test features of the new macOS 26. If you ever wish to go back to your macOS, old macOS version, just restart your Mac and press and hold the power button or the options key. Then you can select your primary hard drive and you will be able to switch between both the macOS versions very easily. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you face any issues, just comment down below and I will get back to you. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like these. I'll see you in the next one.